Greetings to all my tech heads out there in the Kev Techify Nation. And if you're new here, welcome. In this episode, we're going to look at dynamic addressing for IPv6 linked local addresses. We'll be discussing dynamic linked local addresses. Then we'll take a look at dynamic linked local addresses on Windows and on Cisco routers. And then finally, we're going to verify those IPv6 address configurations. This episode is part of my series on introduction to networks for the CCNA. I'm Kevin here, Kev Techify. Let's get this adventure started. All interfaces, all devices on an IP version 6 network, they must have a link local address. Link local addresses, they can be configured manually or they can be configured dynamically. When being configured dynamically, they start with the FE800 colon colon slash 64 process. So the first, first 10 bits, FE80 colon colon, those are set for you. And then the interface ID is either set using the EUI64, that was using the MAC address, or a randomly generated 64-bit number. If your Windows box uses um, link local addresses dynamically created, this is what it's gonna look like. Up here, here we have the EUI64 process. On our Windows box, we can tell it's Windows because we typed in C colon, or it starts off with C colon backslash. We typed in IP config, all one word, no spaces. We have our IP global unicast address right here. The last part here identifies the ID portion. We've inserted the FFE, or sorry, the FFFE in the center of our MAC address. We've inverted the seventh bit here to come up with this number. That's how this was generated. That's what we're showing here. Also notice once again, our link local address is the same ID portion as our global ID portion. If we are using the random 64 bit generation process, we typed in IP config here. We notice that we have some randomly generated numbers right here. And so, you can kind of tell which method your device is using, but once again, Windows Vista and forward uses the 64-bit randomly generated string as the ID. On a Cisco router, we can look here and see that the EU64 method, that's the default method to generate your interface ID. When we do a show interface, and we're doing a show interface right here of gig 000. We can see that our hardware address, once again, it's hardware because it's burnt into the hardware, is right here. We can then see that our link local address, our EUI 64 bit or 64 process, took our MAC address, stuck our FFE in the center inverted our seventh bit here and that's what we have here and so we can use the show interface command to identify or to verify our ip version 6 addresses it was my pleasure to provide you with this wonderful episode on dynamic addressing for ipv6 link local addresses if you like this episode and you got value out of it please click that like button give a five star rating leave a comment this all helps me bring you more great content Please take a minute to subscribe to my channel. All my socials and contact information are on my website, kevtechify.com. There you can find out how to get all these episodes in video and podcast form. In the upper right is my playlist for my series on introduction to networks for the CCNA. In the bottom right is one of my favorite videos that I picked just for you. Thank you so much for watching this episode on my series on introduction to networks for the CCNA. Once again, I'm Kevin. This is Kev Techify. I'll see you next time for another great adventure.